St. John was the last of Jesus' apostles to die, and the only one whose life didn't end in martyrdom or suicide. As a writer of five books of the New Testament, he is the patron saint of theologians and scholars. Because of his long life, he was able to take on several students who continued his teachings after he died, establishing a line of religious study that remains unbroken to this day. These are two legendary trees which complement one another. The Chechen tree secretes a substance which is poisonous upon contact, and the nectar of the Chaka tree can neutralize that poison before it results in serious burns. The fascinating thing about these trees is that they always grow very near to each other. According to legend, two brothers, warrior princes, fought a battle to the death over the love of a woman and died in each other's arms. They begged the gods for forgiveness, and it was granted. Kinich, the kind one, was reborn as a benevolent Chaka tree, while Tizik, the hate-filled one, was reborn as the poisonous Chechen tree. Sounds like trouble. Smells like rotten eggs. Sulfur.
Ashila here as well. I can't carry any more. of life, also known as Yashe, plants its roots in the underworld and then passes through our world as its branches extend all the way into paradise. Lurking somewhere inside the world tree is its Samye, a bird god who is said to know all the secrets of the three planes of existence through which the world tree grows. From its roots in the underworld, sheltering bats, it grows straight and true. Its trunk holds the realm of men fast, and its branches spread its white leaves across the night sky.
This seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. Not far now, just have to get up there. to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human.
Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We... had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's alright. 
We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret crib hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward, and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I can never forgive myself. All right, you stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. You're overreacting. Are you kidding? She wasted enough of my time here. Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Calling me a witch? Huh. <laughs> Imagine. I'm sorry? I'm a herbalist. A shamefully unrecognized branch of medical science. And that child's grandmother was a dowser. The things people ignore that are right in front of their noses. Some people are afraid to believe in what they can't understand. Ha! Huh. You sound like Isa. Isabella, the archaeologist. You know her. A smart girl, a good researcher, and unafraid to admit there are things she doesn't know. She's the one who broke the cross. By climbing on it. I don't know what was in her head. I tried to stop her, but she was very upset about something. Angry and full of grief at the same time. Do you know where she is now? I'm looking for her. I don't know. After the cross broke, she ran away, but I didn't see which direction. In the state she was in, I knew better than to try to interfere with her. I'm sorry. That's all right. You've given me more information than I had. Do you need some help with this cross? I do. But first we have to get those children out of the way. It isn't safe for them to be running around while we work. That blind trickster filled their heads with tales of treasure, and they think I mean to steal it. I'll talk to them. Hey, get away from here. It's our treasure. It's getting quite late. How about postponing the hunt until tomorrow? No, we're not leaving till we find it. We'll sleep here if we have to. Oh, I hope it doesn't come to that. Is there anything I can do to help? No, we told you. You're not getting our treasure. Manu said if we find it, we can keep it. Hmm. That's a shame. The sisters told me you were very good at sharing, and I do know a lot about treasure hunting. You know the sisters? She could tell on us. I won't tell if you won't tell. I have a secret too. I'm the brave adventurer Lara Croft. 
Whoa. Whoa. We won't tell. You can help us. If you find the treasure, we'll split it, even. You've got a deal. What do you need? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. Are you any good at riddles? I'm an expert. Let's hear it. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am, am I? I? There's something there. Looks like there's something here. Fool's gold and costume jewelry. But the kids will love it. So did you find anything? I sure did. Look at this. We're rich. Hold on, hold on. We said everyone gets an equal share, so... Oh no, I couldn't possibly accept any of your treasure. You mean it? Absolutely. I knew it right away when I saw you. I said there's a real hero. Please, please, it was nothing. I only did what any reasonable person would do. Thanks for finding the treasure. We're going to show it to Manu. I don't know how you got Diego and the rest of those kids out of the way, but I'm glad you did. Now we can get to work. Where should we start? Over this way. Thank you for your help. And I hope you find Isa. I'm worried about her. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb the cross. Maybe something about the cross can show you where Isa went. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. the next cross. the next cross. I can see another. The ink is badly faded. It's difficult to make anything out. Savage, outrageous, betrayal. And this isn't parchment paper. It's thicker. Animal hide or human, maybe. <gasps> There's the next cross.
Looks like there's something here. Wait, I can push this. Got it! When I first laid eyes on Angel de la Cruz, I knew I met a man of worth. When he spoke, my heart shook. Its tremors vibrated for days after his first sermon. That evening, God himself told me to set out to prove I was the chosen one. I left the next morning, seeking to prove my worth. Isabella, are you in here? There you are. Yes. Who are you? Guillermo sent me to find you. He's worried about you. <sighs> Poor Guillermo. He's probably killing himself with guilt, too. <laughs> I guess we were both right. There was a hidden crypt, and I did have an idealized view of what it would be like. How did you injure yourself? I was on a rope when the tremor hit. The shaking threw me into the walls, the rope snapped, and I hit the water badly. Ugh. I think my ankle's broken. In order to get you out, I'll have to go back for help. It will take several people. <laughs> What's so funny? Can one of those people be Sarah? I'd love to see the look on her face when she has to admit that one of Manu's fantastic stories turned out to be true. I'll suggest it to Guillermo. Now, I don't think I can get out the way I came in, so I'm gonna have to look for another way out. I'll be right back. And I'll be right here. May Huascar's knowledge of the two afterlives be sufficient to guide us, if we arrive in either.
In preparation for the ultimate test, I have begun to explore the crypts and tombs found near the mission. They are challenging and dangerous, and I am slowly improving. My reflexes are quicker, I'm getting stronger, and I dare say my eyesight in the dark is improving. I know there are others trying to prove their worth to Brother De La Cruz, but they will not best me. I was not worthy. Forgive me for my hubris. <coughs> Lara, was that you? It was me. Don't worry. All full up. Can't carry any more. I have returned from my training, however, Brother de la Cruz has disappeared. The sisters of the mission have no idea where he went. No matter. I will wait for him to return. My heart is pure. My head is clear. I am ready for the trials, and I will prove to him I am the chosen one. I must be on the right path. The air is getting fresher. Don't tease me. I've spent the night in a crypt. A wheel lock pistol. Never mass-produced and banned in the Holy Roman Empire. Ostentatiously decorated, a bit much for a missionary, but maybe a fitting weapon for an egoist such as Lopez. There's some damage to the pommel, but otherwise the weapon seems in fine condition. I know now that I am not the chosen one. Now I fear I have endangered the lives of Brother de la Cruz and the sisters of the mission. They do not know that the hollow earth surrounding the mission is home to demons. Cruel, hissing creatures with twisted claws and sick, yellowed eyes. I came to this place to purge them from the world, in the name of Angel de la Cruz to win his favor and earn my seat at his side. But I have failed. I could not contain this evil. And now it is out, and all warning of it will die down here with me. <laughs> uh. 
Isabella, I see daylight. You'll be out of here in no time. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Someone decided this depiction of Christ's death needed a little sprucing up. It's amazing how the beliefs of disparate cultures can become intertwined over time. Please tell me Isabella's okay. She is, but she's hurt her ankle, so we'll have to go back and get her. No, I could not stand to inconvenience you any further. And besides, Sarah tells me you have something important of your own to do. Please, let Isa's friends take care of her from here. You'll need a couple of people and a lot of rope to get her out. I'll round them up right away. Where is she exactly? Take the main road across the river, then follow the crosses. Wait, the crosses? Did she find something? She found the crypt man who told her about. She did? That's wonderful. Oh, I, I'm so happy for her. I should have gone with her, and I feel terrible about her ankle. But despite that, this is the adventure Isa's always dreamed of. She also suggested that maybe Sarah could be a member of her rescue party. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll make sure of it. And speaking of Manu and his crazy stories, if you're looking for something hidden around here, you should probably talk to him. It worked for Isa. He's usually holding court around the mission. And thank you again for finding Isabella. I don't know what I would have done if... Just make sure she gets back safe.
Qué Estos bueno que vinimos. En Chile se va a pegar a la olla, hombre. Jungles hide so many places. Even Maya ruins, I'm telling you. must be Manu. Who's that? Who's there? She's the one who found the treasure. Is that right, Diego? Well, well, what can I do for you? I overheard you telling the children about Maya ruins. Finally, someone who pays attention. Well, you were right about the crosses. Isabella followed them to a hidden crypt. Ha! I knew it, I knew it. No one ever listens to old Manu, but I was right. So you were. And I bet you're telling the truth about those Maya ruins. I recognize something in your voice. The thrill of discovery, of finding something, some place unseen for hundreds or even thousands of years. There is something thrilling about that, isn't there? There's no feeling like it. The taste of stale, dusty air still gets my heart racing. These modern people, these so-called realists, they close themselves off from such wondrous possibilities. They can't even imagine some of the things I've seen. Ah, that I would give anything to see again one last time. Perhaps I could be your eyes, your witness of those Maya ruins. You could at that, yes. Do you remember where the ruins were? Now where were they? I remember a pool fed by three waterfalls. I wish I could give you better directions, but it's been so many years. I should be able to find it, and when I do, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh, if you could do that for me, touch that, that history, I would, I would be so... Say no more, Manu. I'll find it. I hope you've shined up those dancing shoes, Manu. I found the ruin. It was Maya, an ancient aqueduct. It was wonderful, just as you'd imagined. I knew you would! Now, tell me everything. The ruins had flooded because of the earthquake. I swam through tunnels teeming with peril. Go on. I found a vast cavern and a stone tower with massive heads carved into its sides. The Lords of Shibaiba, right? Incredible. What else? It must have been an aqueduct of some kind. And you'll never believe this. Most of the machinery is still functional. Water wheels, three men high, turned as smoothly as the day they were built. It was amazing to see Manu. To be so close to all that history where no one has set foot in hundreds of years. <laughs> I see it. I can smell it, feel it, taste it. You've brought tears to an old man's dry eyes. I, I can't thank you enough. I, I'd like to give you something. Manu, I, I couldn't. Please, I insist. It's the first relic I ever found. It's beautiful and intricate. A decorated skull. I'd like someone who has the same passion for exploring that I did as a young man to have it. Don't ever let anything kill your sense of curiosity and wonder. I won't. Thank you, Manu. An adhesive made of tree sap and powdered bone hold the jade and other gems in place within the wearer's teeth. A crude drill, perhaps made of obsidian, would have been used to delicately carve out the notches required to hold the jewelry in place. This Spanish document is fascinating. It tells the story of several natural disasters which struck this area. A flood, a fire caused by lightning, and a severe volcanic tremor. In each instance, buildings on this site were badly damaged, requiring considerable rebuilding. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once. 
drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? Good deal. I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both of us. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Good deal. I'm sure you will be satisfied. I'll be here if you want to deal somewhere. This document outlines the goals and works of the Mission of St. John. In addition to their individual spiritual goals and their outreach programs, the people here are clearly passionate about contributing to the nearby communities. Education, literacy, healthcare, even donating a portion of the food they raise. <laughs> now this is a fascinating concept the miracle club come meet people that share your beliefs devotion and taste for adventure create lifelong memories as you travel the world together it's a Christian singles group dedicated to visiting pilgrimage sites. Te lo aseguro. Si se comprueba algo, así será. This is an official document issued recently by the Holy See. In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. Había una vez un ratoncito lindo y pequeñito. Vamos. ¿Y ahora? Esperar a que otro This document describes the founding of the mission. There were four solar eclipses in this region around that time, in 1521, 1538, 1539, and 1543. Spanish missionaries reported that during each one, a vision of John the Apostle appeared on this site. So in his honor, the mission of St. John was built here in 1544. Thirtieth of December, sixteen o three. Lopez has just returned from a nearby village, and with him came a group he says will follow him and help us with construction. There was something strange about his behavior. I attributed it to the long journey through the jungle. That night, however, he admitted what had been bothering him. They followed me, he whispered. The others. He walked off. I spent that sleepless night worrying about his deviations toward madness.
These collars were used abroad the Nostromo, likely ferrying the captured indigenous people back to Spain to be sold as slaves. Gracias por darme la fortaleza para superarme. 